respect, had to sweat just to cash checks, working from sunrise to set. Every day he had challenge, no trade to talents. Barely scraped by, he found faith to balance a straight line and pace, feeling worn and gray. Poor with four seeds, one more on the way. It was hard days indeed, all work and no play. He made sure things on the surface were okay, but something disturbing within his mind was lurking a slight. Twilight breeze would ease in through the curtains at night. It's like the sermon of a twisted apparition was urging him to listen to the train in the distance. At first it wasn't intense, just one little instance. Sure, it didn't occur, he turned to resist it. As if it wasn't much more than just a figment of his imagination, but for days it was persistent and it went... He was acting berserk. Granny got a call saying he was absent from work. And that was the first she ran to the pastor at church to ask him what was up with this disastrous curse. But bad with the worst, he came back three days after. No money in his wallet and his shirt on backwards. Stumbling and walk off when he called out for his daughter. Right before he split, the last lesson he taught her was this. If you ever have a son, let him know that his granddad loved him. But by the time that he's grown, he should have seen his son deep down into his dome. Don't ever, ever walk to the train tracks alone. With that, he backed up, reached out for his jacket. Told her not to act up and cracked up laughing. After all that happened, he left never to be seen. Fifteen years later, it's when my mother had me. Her dad lived a life people can't understand. Went from a family man to rambling man a gambling man that burned both ends of the candle folded his hand in it was too hot to handle stories to warn me of the dangers that were laying before me to keep it in a rest and she would hide the lesson to guide my direction provide the right message in time i developed a sense of her embellishment since i was rebellious against what she was telling me when i was a teen i pretended that my demons were friends i defended the place yo and that was the case slurred speech dripping off of my face the world creeped as i slipped to the awfulest place you could imagine not the average things you see on acid my granddad bloody hovering on a speaker cabinet Laughing in a raspy tone, covered in maggots, a snack on his mask of the bone. I couldn't grasp it. Did it double dismount off of the couch, flipped out, broke the closest window I found. Then I dipped out. Suddenly, I discovered little voices mumbling up in my head. It had me wondering, what was it my mother said back when I was younger? It had my brain racked as I stumbled off of the night towards the train tracks. Through the dark with the buzz, I figured I should walk. That'll lease me off of these drugs. It's like a shark had to keep moving. It's that'd be ruined. If I sat still, I was doomed, and that wasn't doing. So I marched through the park, slow gone like Donnie Dark. Throw the sparkle of the starlight, glowed like dark. Throw despite my demeanor, the night seemed more serene than a morphine fiend in the morgue. It seemed like I'd lost it. That was when my grandpa's carcass emerged from the dark, gurgling his words of carnage, but he couldn't talk. Something about the birth of sadness. I scurried off. I was on the verge of madness i race fast pace in the landscape was strange like a plane parallel to this one but rearranged came to a slope that was steep begging for sleep as i climbed up taking my focus off of the creeps but in the foggy distance i saw a silhouette that got bigger as i stepped the train tracks were wet i saw a shiny grin from afar like it was happy this is what he said as he started to walk past it's me. a nice night for a walk would you mind if i joined you do what you want to do well that's great because i'm going to and not to annoy you but see i really have to ask what are you Young dude like you was doing out by the tracks. You waiting on a train? Nah, man, let me explain. Right. I'm minding my business, so maybe you should do the same. I've just been a witness to something sick and sadistic, so twistily disgusting. You should feel real lucky you missed it. Ooh, live easy with the tongue, son. Try to listen carefully. What you've seen scary, but nothing when compared to me. I can show you things to paint all your dreams on it. 
I can make you scream if I wanted. Or I can be the bee in your body, your best friend forever. Two peas in a pot flocking like birds of a feather. And you never have a need to beg, work, or steal. If all this sounds worth it, then let's make a deal. All you want in life for the price of your soul. All the money you can fold, power that you can hold, I'll put you in control. Only if you're down to roll down these train tracks tonight. But where are we gonna go? Sitting on the tracks, waiting for the night train, looking on the road. 